And so this particular study I'm going to talk about in a little more detail brought in people who were trying to manage their weight and eat healthy. And they gave them an immediate willpower failure. They showed up for the study and they were forced to eat a donut. And they even had to choose the flavor of donut they were going to eat so they would feel really complicit in this willpower failure. Uh, and they had to drink a whole glass of water too so they'd feel a little bit uncomfortably full. Okay, so we have everyone, dieters here, having a now a willpower failure. They just ate this donut. Uh, and the next part of the study is a taste test where they're given a lot of different types of candy and they're said, you know, um, we want you to evaluate all of these candies, so please just eat as much as you need to, as much as you want, so that you can evaluate these candies. Uh, and of course, these candies were all pre-weighed so that experimenters could find out exactly how much candy the dieters ate after they had blown their diet with a donut. And in this particular study, the researchers had a hypothesis. They thought that, that the guilt that dieters experience when they fall off their diet actually really undermines future self-control. Uh, and so they wanted to create an intervention that would basically get rid of the guilt and shame that people feel when they make a mistake. And so in this study, half of the dieters were randomly assigned to receive a special letting themselves off the hook message. So between the donut eating and the taste test, an experimenter came in and said something very simple. They said, by the way, we've, we've realized now that some people in this experiment feel guilty after eating the donut. Okay? So there was an opportunity for people to recognize they might be feeling guilty. Second part of the message, um, we want you to remember that actually everyone indulges sometimes and we ask you to do it. So there's a kind of putting it in a broader perspective. And the last part of the message was a simple plea. Please don't be too hard on yourself about it. Okay? So very simple. You might be feeling guilty. Remember, everyone does it. Don't be hard on yourself about it. And then they went on to the taste test. And what the researchers found was that the women who had been given the, um, the self-forgiveness message ate less than half as much candy as women who had not been told, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal, which is exactly the opposite of what most people think. Most people think you make a mistake, you have a willpower failure, and you start saying nice things to yourself about it, that this could only lead to disaster. It would lead to license 